Heave Media and I'm here with Yes Giantess. Guys, how are you? We're All right. <laughs> um, I guess my first question is, I know most of you guys went to Berkeley out in Boston, which is not really known for producing the style of music that you're working in. What was it like being in that environment trying to make the music that you want to make? Uh, I think the the most important thing about about going to a music school was kind of the time outside of the school mm -hmm. um, because what it really did was just introduce us to each other um, and gave us gave us uh, the time and the the resources to play music together um, and so it was really 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 good for you know kind of meet and greet um, with these guys and, and a lot of other people as well. And you guys recently finished recording the majority of your album, right? Or is it all done? I wouldn't say the majority. Um, Step in some, a new direction. Some of it. We've 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 started recording, and it's it's changing. Um, you know, it's 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 evolving from the stuff we originally put out uh, earlier this year. Um, but we we're planning on doing a lot more work on it uh, throughout the rest of this year, mm -hmm. um, and then hopefully having it by you know early early next year. What can we expect from the material that you're producing now? Uh, well, the material we're producing now it's, it's I, low key is the the wrong word because it's not any less um, it's not any more low key, but uh, it's it's definitely a little more. Um, the first stuff we released was, was, was very like. Very hyped, very party all the time, um, and I think just over the course of the recording process, we've we've dialed that down a little bit, um, just kind of naturally, um, and we've gone for more of kind of like um, groovy type of stuff um, in that direction. You know, we've added guitars, we've uh, you know different different types of sounds and stuff like that. I feel like um, it's better pop music. Yeah, it's it's know? it's a bit of next level pop music. Yeah, it's it, it's a bit um, more focused on just being pop songs and less on being electro songs. Yeah, I think that's a, a really good way of summing it up. I know you guys got your start doing more remixes. What was one of your favorite songs to work with doing that? Um, I'd say yeah, I would say that the Little Boots track we did was the was the most fun. I mean, we've done uh, we've done a, a few songs now. Um, and I, it was principally me doing the remixes for a bunch of them, and Chase did a couple remixes. Um, but the Little Boots remix was the best. I mean, I, yeah, uh, it was Joey did some of it, Chase did some of it, and then I sort of took what they had done and pulled it together. So it was really, really collaborative, and just sort of all of us, more or less. And uh, and it was also, and I mean, it's also just you know, it's a fantastic song to begin with, and. Um, you know, and I think we managed to sort of leverage some really cool stuff with it and get some get some nice sounds out of it. I know you guys also started more as like a MySpace thing, um, more parties, posting your remixes online, and that's how you grew in popularity. Um, how is that a different experience than you know starting a band, playing like the VFW Hall, and then growing up from there? It's just kind of like the way of the future now, you know, with technology the way it is and kids, you know, you're just gonna... Yeah, so many bands just break huge over MySpace these days and like don't even have like, you know, just post silly demos on MySpace and people are into it and then it just goes out from there and they form a band based on MySpace reception. <laughs> I mean... The internet is all, the internet's all ages and free, you know, it's great. Um, I, I mean, the only difference I think that we experienced was instead of starting out, you know, uh, as the first band in a bar for like two people, we started out as the first band in a bar for like 20 people. <laughs> um, and you know, That's really nice people in Boston heard our stuff and they got really enthusiastic about it and just kind of give us a little nudge in, in the uh, in, in the right direction. Um, but it, it that, I mean, that, that's pretty much what it was. You know, it just kind of introduced us to a certain aesthetic in a certain in a certain world really early on which is really nice and uh, made it a lot uh, a lot more fun to uh, start out as a band with you know no fan base or whatever it was and you guys recently um, started working with neon gold which has produced a lot of great bands that are coming out uh, what's it like being in that company with those type of people um, I mean the thing I always say about neon gold is the thing we share with uh, Derek and Lizzie who run who run the label uh, you were just all really excitable about about really great yeah, they're new super, super enthusiastic about everything it's really super supportive just everything is every everything has this like they're just exuberance and excitement that you sort of 
don't expect from like you know label types anymore. You expect labels to be very blasé and just kind of like you know okay yeah you know we'll see what we can do and it's and they're they're just they're they get amped they get pumped about stuff and it's you know it's really it's really nice to have that. How has that helped like you guys as a band to feel that someone's actually supporting what you're doing instead of just trying to make money off of you? It made all the difference in the world. Yeah, uh, we, we probably wouldn't do it if it if it uh, if you know if it was the other way around. Um, we st we started as friends first and you know uh, partners later. Uh, I don't know the right word, but um, <laughs> uh, first and foremost we're friends, and that's uh, that's yeah. by far the most important thing. And it's a lot. It's a lot easier to be super. It's a lot easier to be uh, confident and enthusiastic about yourself when you have people telling you like, your stuff is awesome, you know, and uh, they're super stoked on what we do and they're really supportive and that's sort of the best thing you can ask for, you know. So. All right. Well, I think that's it. Thank you very much, Yes Giant Tess and the Empty Bottle, and stay tuned for more videos from HeatMedia.com. You are very, very welcome. <laughs>